The spare parts consist of O-rings, gasket, diaphragm, and diaphragm spring. Furthermore, there are two valve seats, two balls, and the oil level sight glass. For AO pumps, the spring for the piston as well as the necessary oil are additionally included. As those parts are wear parts, they should be replaced. Please have a look at the sectional drawings of your pump before you start. Those can be found in your documentation. First of all, you should flush the dosing head and clean your pump on the outside. We begin with the drainage of the oil. With a funnel and a collecting vessel ready to collect the old oil, the screw plug is opened. To secure the drainage of the piston, the adjusting spindle should be adjusted to 0%. For small pumps, the relief valve should be unscrewed additionally. Make sure the pump doesn't fall off your base while you tilt the pump. Next, the dosing head and the diaphragm can be unscrewed. The piston flange should be positioned higher than the drive gear to prevent residual oil to run out. The dosing head and diaphragm can be taken off after all screws are undone. For the bigger pumps, BO and CO, the diaphragm support has to be unscrewed from the fixing plate to exchange the diaphragm. For pumps of that size, the regular replacement of the piston spring isn't necessary. To exchange the O-ring between piston flange and drive gear as well as the O-rings of the spindle, the piston flange is unscrewed. Pumps with a BO or CO drive gear should only be disassembled if necessary, as reassembling is difficult to do because of the strong elastic force of the piston spring. Disassembling the piston flange should in any case be done with great care, as the piston spring is released during that procedure. As the remaining oil did accumulate in the drive gear during the last steps, it can now be discharged. Next, the spindle is removed by loosening the threaded rod. The piston as well as the distributing regulator do not have to be removed. If you do remove both parts, make sure you reassemble them correctly. The end stop of the distributing regulator has to be assembled directing towards the diaphragm. The pressure relief valve can easily be unscrewed. If there is a vent plug, its O-ring should be exchanged. But not every pump has a vent plug. The screws of the cover for driving gear should be loosened to exchange the O-ring. After the cap nut is undone, the diaphragm as well as the diaphragm spring can be disposed of. Do not dispose of the cap nut as it is reutilized. To change the spring for the piston, you have to unscrew the fixing plate. Finally, the non-return valves are loosened and the valve seats are unscrewed. The ball the seat and the O-rings can be disposed of. If there is a stop, it is replaced as well. Now all the old parts should be cleaned and checked for damage. You can remove and dispose of all O-rings and the oil level glass. If cracks show in individual components, those should be replaced. Particular attention should be paid when checking the pump head. Likewise, the interior of the driving gear should be roughly wiped out. Any oil sludge or abrasion which has accumulated should be removed. <music>